Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel, I document my own print on demand journey. Today, I'd like to talk another time about the automation tool Flying Upload, but not about the classical version Flying Upload, but about what is coming next. Because I made a video, I think last week or two weeks ago about Flying Upload Chapter 2, which is the new upload system. I think it will, more than just, will be more than just a tool. It will be more like a, a system which includes an entire process, like a... Um, yeah, turnkey solution for every print on demand seller and designer. So that will be highly interesting. And we want to talk about that because there was an updated email from the Flying Upload team. And I just want to take you through it and talk about the exciting things that might be, might be coming up. If you've been following me on this channel, you know that Flying Upload has really transformed my print on demand journey. It has been with me since the beginning of my print on demand journey. I think I only uploaded for three or four months, uh, four weeks manually before I really got into op upload automation, which then al allowed me really to get onto different websites and start to scale up my print on demand business. And at the moment, you know, I've got another side business online or two actually, um, and I have uh, my full-time job and a family and I still can run this print on demand business and it doesn't take a lot of time. And that is purely because I've optimized my flying upload upload process and also the research process and so on and you know I, I do this youtube channel as well which takes some time as well so all of that i can do because flying upload helps me to automate a lot of the things that i would be doing manually if i was doing print on demand let's say the classical way the traditional way so flying upload is really useful um, if you don't know what flying upload is check you know check my other videos about flying demand uh, flying demand flying upload out um, check their website out you can find a link in the description you can test it for free 150 free uploads per month they have a great community they've got a discord channel they've got a really good support so whenever you have a problem they will be with you my experience is within minutes so you haven't wait haven't had uh, to wait long and also they developed flying research which is the research tool that i use to do my own research and i also do weekly research updates in which i talk about the um, the seller trends and the best selling designs so they want to as far as i understand they want to bring all of that including trademark research and design management into one solution and that solution they call flying upload chapter two so what they talk about in this latest email that just came a couple of days ago really is that um, this will be available in november and from now on every two weeks they will provide an updated email and they i think as far as i understand they say here you will be able to use both so if you use flying upload already then you will be able to use the chapter two as a bonus on top and as far as i understand these will be two, two completely different systems so flying upload one is what i use now to upload my print on demand designs and it works as a as a solution to upload you know you have your design management within it and everything and chapter two will provide more but as far as i understand the designs and the um the files that you generate in flying upload one they will be compatible with flying upload two and there will be bonus features in flying upload two and i think it will integrate more things than one because flying upload one is really just the upload tool and you have to get this research tool flying research um, separately and what they say they want to develop it from a tool to a platform where currently you have so many standalone systems you've got the, the upload tool i think you've got the kdp tool you have the research tool and my view is as far as i understand is you they want to bring it all together in one process into one platform and they call this you know where the magic happens so we are currently working flat out in the background to make a complete process possible starting with the research through the management of the designs to the edit and trademark check to the listings and finally the uncomplicated uploading to individual platforms and that will be everything that you need in one system and i can't wait for it it might make my whole process even more you know even easier and free up some of my time that i can spend then in other ways um so web is the future and presence and that's why we are taking this step and moving the majority of flying upload chapter two right there research and upload run on the same basis and both functions are separated from each other by just a push of a button every pc is different which is why the current local flying upload can lead to individual problems that we can completely rule out online so my view is this will all go online 
Um, a little bit, I don't know if you know OrbitKit. I think OrbitKit is a little bit similar. It's the solution that where you, I think, upload your designs into a cloud and from then on, it will be uploaded automatically. Now, I also have a little bit of a, um, how do you call it, preconception. So, I, you know, I, I, um, I don't really like the idea of having my designs online. That's, I've, I'm a bit critical about that because I don't want my designs necessarily to be in a database online. I also don't like the idea. And again, I don't know how that works exactly, but if it means that I upload my designs from some to somewhere, to some to cloud or a different IP address, and from there it will then be uploaded or pushed to the print on demand we um, websites. I'm not in favor of that idea because that will show these websites suddenly a different IP address and it might trigger some algorithms or whatever um, to shut my account down. So that's why I always like the local version on my laptop to upload from my laptop, which then, you know, the print on demand website didn't see a different um, IP address. I could just pretend I was doing it, you know, manually. So let's see, I, I'm not 100% sure yet how this will work, um, but I'm open to any new ideas and anything that makes it better. I just wanted to update you about what is coming. And I really like the flying upload team and the flying upload process and tools, which is why I make you aware of it and which is why I will probably try it as well. But still, as always with any business, you need to be on the side of caution. You don't want to risk anything. I certainly don't want to risk my accounts being shut down because suddenly uploads or pushes from a different IP address become visible. But maybe I see this wrongly um, and I don't know enough about it yet. But it's certainly an exciting thing because Flying Upload is my favorite upload tool anyway. And if they develop something new, my view is it has been really good with the research tool, the upload tool, all the things they are doing. So can't wait for it. I'm um, just to try it out really. And I wanted to make you aware of it and I will certainly update you going forward and I will test it for you as well when it comes out. So hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this print on demand journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.